Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the BH Cosmetics Times Shannon EXO The Remix Palette. So this is the second palette that they collab together on and today I will be giving you guys my opinion on this palette, would I recommend it or not, and also I'll be giving you guys three demos as always. This look is one of the three demos obviously and I tried a new technique out and I'm really really loving how it looks right now. So yeah. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette and also seeing three demos, then just continue watching. Okay, so first I will give you guys some product info just so you guys can get a general idea on this palette. This guy is 42 New Zealand dollars on EXO Beauty, which is Shannon EXO's her own brand. So you can get it. It is in stock on her site. I do believe she does ship worldwide, but if you want to get it straight from bhcosmetics.com, it is $18.99 US dollars on BH. The reason why I got it off EXO Beauty just because it's free shipping, BH Cosmetics. The shipping is really, really expensive, so that's why I don't buy anything from there. A lot of you guys have requested for me to do reviews on BH Cosmetics, but honestly, the shipping directly off BH Cosmetics is very, very expensive, so... But this is an 18 shadow pan. There are 9 original shades, which I believe is this side over here. So for the first palette that she came out with, it was eyeshadow on one side and then on the other side it was lip colors. But this time, the Remix palette, she has a new nine shadows on the other side. Yes, this shattered when it came to me. But this is the new side, more berries, more pinks. It does come with a mirror on both sides as well. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a more unique kind of palette where it's like, you know, double-sided. This palette is vegan and cruelty-free as well. That is all of the info on the Remix palette. Let's go ahead and get started with my thoughts. Okay, so first off, I'm not really sure compared to the first Shannon EXO palette if the formula has changed or anything like that. I do own Kali's BH Cosmetics palette as well. I do think the texture of this eyeshadow is a little bit different from Kali's. I, to be honest, like this formula a little bit better. Honestly, they could be the same, but I really do think that this one is a little bit different. I feel like this is a little bit more pigmented and it's easier to work with. Although some of the darker shades like on this side, I feel like this one here, I feel like it's a little bit hard to work with. It's a little bit choppy, but you definitely can make it work. And I think for the price, for 19 US dollars, you're getting 18 shadows. If you compare it to a ColourPop palette, the pan is also smaller if you do want to compare. A lot smaller. I was really, really surprised when I got the um, Remix palette it how big the pans are so if you were just to compare it literally looks like double the size of a ColourPop palette you also get a mirror and you get 18 shades and this one is 16 US dollars this one is 19 so three dollars more you're getting more shadows a bigger size pan and two mirrors on both sides I think this palette is definitely definitely worth it as for the formula I still prefer the ColourPop formula a little bit better the ColourPop ones are so so easy to work with the metallics are so freaking metallic and shiny can I ever do a video without mention ColourPop like seriously I'm not saying that this one is bad it's just that I prefer the ColourPop one a little bit better I think it's easier to work with as for shade range I am I'm really impressed with the shade range there are some crazy colors like this pink one here and this lavender that I thought I would never use but I'm wearing this hot pink one and I love it like I love this shadow I thought it was such a random color to put in here but it looks so good on the eyes it's on my lower lash line right now and I think I might wear this like more often because I really really like how it looks on the eyes. Talking about the variety of the shadows, throughout all my three demos I used this whole size so I used every single shadow on this side which is the new side. For the original side I didn't use one, two and three so the three shimmers going diagonal from here. Every other shade I did use at least once or twice throughout the three demos. But yeah, these three shimmer shadows you definitely could use for other eye looks. They're very standard shimmer shadows. I really, really do enjoy the shade range and I think there are some unique colors in here that's really amazing. So I think it's very unique and I do like how there's two sides. Although sometimes it can get a bit annoying like opening one side and then you want a shadow from the other side, you gotta open up the other side. Um, I would prefer if it was just in one whole pan where I just opened one. But I get that she wanted to be a little bit more different from all the other generic palettes that you are seeing in the market right now. So yeah, I personally love it. I don't think it's like the best formula. Like it doesn't beat Colourpop or Morphe in my opinion. But it's definitely one of those 
is better formulas I have tried worse you can create beautiful looks with it so I think for the price it's really really good like the pan size the mirrors 18 shadows for $19 you are really getting a good bargain with this palette and I highly would recommend it and I think Shannon did an amazing job and I'm proud to be a Kiwi because she is representing New Zealand so hard and I'm so freaking proud of her that is going to conclude my review portion I know it was very short simple and sweet but I mean it is an eyeshadow palette there's only so much I can say so hopefully I covered everything if you have any further questions just leave them down below I'll try my best to answer every single one of them if you guys want to see some hand swatches and also three different eye looks with this one palette then just continue watching Okay, demo one, let's get started. I am taking the shade Bestie and this is going to be our transition shade. I am taking this on a very big fluffy brush and I'm putting this straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. Afterwards, I will start moving into circular motions around the edges to get um, a better blend, but I am blending this up to my brow bone. I really want this to be blown out and very smoky. And then I'll be taking the shade Lover and I'll be putting this in the outer third of my eye using circular motions, blending it into the transition shade and taking what is ever left on my brush into the inner corner of my eye. But we're focusing this shadow mainly on the outer third. And I always like to go in with a clean blending brush just to make sure everything is well blended. Next, I'm taking the shade Van Pitt and I'm going to start putting this on the outer third of my eye once again. Kind of where we put the shade Lover but in a smaller area with a smaller brush as well. This is just going to define the outer corner a lot and really enhance the cut crease that we're going to do very soon. And now it's time to cut the crease. I'm just taking some concealer. I feel like you guys see me do this a million times, but I will always explain it just in case anybody is new here. So I will take my concealer on a very small brush and I will start applying it onto my lid. So I'm doing a half cut crease. So I'm only taking the concealer on the inner portion of my eye. I'm not going all the way to the outer corner. Start drawing my crease where I think it's going to stop. And then I will look up. And when I look up, this is going to mark the spot where there's going to be no transfer. So if I go above to that line where that mark happened, there's going to be no transfer. So I will take a very small, precise, thin brush and then go up against that line. Going right on top of the concealer, I am taking the shade Dream Girl and I am using this shade Wet and I am just applying it straight onto the concealer. Every time I do a cut crease, I always do one eye at a time. Um, I think it just works better when the concealer is a little bit tacky. The shade that you put on top can really grab onto the concealer and it's really going to stay in place for the whole day. Going back with the shade Lover and I'm going to use this to mesh the shimmer with the mattes together. That way there are no harsh lines. I just like to like kind of swirl, make little circular motions, dab it on just to get that very perfect blend. And then you will also have like a gradient effect as well. Using the shade Island Glow, I'm going to put this right under that crease. This is really going to make the crease pop up a lot more. You really want to use lighter shades in the inner corner where you do a cut crease. I just feel like it looks best. I'm just going to apply a really thin light line under the crease and I just love how this looks. You can just tell a huge difference. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that you do this step. And then I'll be taking a makeup wipe to just wipe away any fallout and also clean the edge of my eyeshadow.
For my liner today, I am using the ColourPop Matte Lip in Mamacita and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I thought I would do something a little bit different instead of my everyday typical black wing. I am still doing a wing because I feel like doing a wing suits cut creases a lot more. Using the shade Lover once again, I'm going to run this on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner. And then just taking the shade Vampire on a smaller shader brush, I'm going to press this against my lower lash line. I'm trying not to overtake the shade Lover because I do want it to peep through. So really just focusing this right against that lower lash line. And then just taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Crybaby, I'm just going to use this in my lower waterline and I just feel like it's going to brighten up the whole look. And this is the finished look for look number one. The lashes that I'm wearing are Serene Light from House of Lashes. And for my lip color, I am wearing the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Still Crazy. Okay, look number two, we are taking the shade Need You as our transition shade for today using the same technique that I always do for my transition shade, just putting it straight into the crease and then slowly blending it out. Then I'll be using the shade Buttercup and this is going to help me blend out our transition shade just a little bit more. Going around the edges, just really fluffing it over. And then I'll be using the shade Dark Horse and this is going all over our eyelid. I am focusing it mainly on my lid first and then what is ever left on my brush, I will blend it into the transition shade. This shade is a little bit harder to work with. I feel like it's a little bit more choppy and it doesn't blend as nicely as the other shades. So just take your time with it and just use a little bit at a time. Next up, we are taking the shade Avocado and this is going all over our lids. Um, this look is going to be more of a shimmery, smoky eye. So I am using the shade Wet, but I am just applying it all over that dark brown that we just placed down and then slowly blending it up towards the transition shades. But seriously, this shadow is so freaking cool. It's such a cool duochrome shadow. Like some lights, it looks more brown and then in some lights, it looks like more of a teal. Such a cool shadow shade I am obsessed and then going back into the shade need you which was our transition shade I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner you guys know what's up taking another color pop creme gel liner this one is called exit and this is going in our bottom waterline this is just like a stark white so it's really really gonna open up the eyes i just feel like with all the darkness that is going on i just kind of want to open my eyes up a little bit and then i'll be using the shade holy grail to highlight my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes And this is look two completed. For lashes, I am wearing Demure Light. And for my lip color, I am wearing LA Lady by ColourPop Cosmetics. Moving on to our last and final look, I'm using the shade Terracotta as my transition shade. Again, the same technique, the same brush, this is just what I always do.
Next, we will be taking Stalker. This step is very similar to Demo 2. We are placing this all over our lid space and blending it into the transition shade. Um, you want to make sure you get into the inner corner of your crease and also the outer corner because for this look, we are doing a full on cut crease. So you want the depth to be everywhere. You just don't want the depth to be in the inner corner or just the outer corner. You want it all over. So make sure you go back and forth and really get into the inner corner of your eye. The way my eye is formed I really have to make sure that I actually get it into the inner corner of my eye so if you have a similar eye shape to me just be aware of that Next we'll be using the shade Vampette and the same kind of motion we are putting this straight into our crease but we're just using a smaller brush and just kind of placing it a little bit lower well I'm trying to place it a little bit lower And now I will be cutting my crease. Um, I already explained it in the beginning in demo one, but this time, since I am doing a full on cut crease, I will bring the concealer all the way to the outer corner of my eyelid space. And you wanna make sure you follow the natural curve of your eye. When I first started doing cut creases, like I would just kinda go a little bit above and I would kinda make it a bit straight. You really wanna make sure you keep it very oval and very circle like the way your eye shape is this really does require practice i feel like a full-on cut crease takes more practice than a half cut crease you're definitely not going to get on the first go i mean if you do that's great but it's going to take a lot of practice to get this right Next, I'll be using the shade Baby Girl, which is the bright fuchsia pink. And on a pencil brush, I'm going to start placing this in the inner corner of my eye and then also the outer corner of my eye. Just kind of like how you usually would with like a shimmer shadow, but this time we're using a matte. And we're going to kind of create a cut halo eye. I was inspired by, by Brokel for this eye look. I will leave her Instagram down below. She's one of my favorite makeup artists. I'm always constantly inspired by her. And then to fill up that blank space, we are taking the shade Island Glow. I am using this shade Wet and I'm placing that right in the middle, blending it into the fuchsia pink. And then I'm also going to place it like right under the crease in the inner corner and outer corner, kind of creating like litter shape T. Does that make sense? I think it's better if you guys just really focus on what I'm doing. It's kind of hard for me to explain. I mean, I can't explain a lot of things, but I feel like just putting that gold right underneath the crease really, really brings out that crease out a lot more than just placing in the middle. Of course, go back in with the fuchsia pink. Make sure everything is well blended. You don't want any harsh lines. Just blend the shimmer and the mattes together. Next, I'll be taking the shade Vampette and just to deepen up things even more on another pencil brush, I'm going to place this right in the like inner, inner corner of my eye and then in the outer, outer, outer corner of my eye. You still want to see that fuchsia pink like peeping through. It's going to create more of a gradient and it's just going to make the whole look come together. Like this step is so necessary, like it really does bring the whole look together. Going back in with the shade Baby Girl, we are going to run this on our lower lash line first. And then using Vampire on a very small shader brush and just really pressing this against my lower lash line. And guys, this lower lash line combo is seriously like my favorite. I am so obsessed with it. Like you could do like a warm smoky eye on the top of your lid and use this for like a pop of color. I think it looks so, so pretty. And then using another ColourPop cream gel liner, this one is called No Shame. It's just like a deep plum purple and this is going into our bottom waterline. And to really pull the whole look together, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners with the shade Island Glow, which is the same shade that we place in the middle of our eyes. 
Okay, so that wraps up the third and final look. Are you guys obsessed with this? Because because I am so obsessed with it. This has to be like my favorite look that I've ever done on my channel ever. Period. Like I'm so obsessed. So of course I gave myself a wing liner for lashes. I am wearing Demure Light from House of Lashes once again. And for my lip color, I am wearing the Lux Lipstick from ColourPop in Money Side Up. And I topped it off with the Aquarius Ultra Glossy Lip. And that, guys, is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it helpful with the review and also the three demos on the BH Shannon Exo the Remix palette. I would love to know which look out of the three was your favorite and I also want to know your thoughts on this palette as well. Do you guys already have it? What do you guys think? Do you want to pick it up? I would love to chat with you guys about this palette down below so leave your comments. If you did find this video helpful and enjoyable to watch please give it a thumbs up for me. It seriously helps me so much. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!